Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So long time no see. Basically taking like I didn't even mean to take a break to be honest. Like obviously we all know that my schedule, like with my past videos, have literally been like it is just it hasn't really been a schedule. Like sometimes I'd actually like post like a few weeks in a row and then I would like go off for two weeks and then post a video. I accidentally took like three months off i think it was i think it's like three months and i know it's bad but i'm going to tell you why so i thought i would start off coming back to my channel with a q a you know a little catch up three months off and i thought this was the best video to come back with because you know we need to have a little more of a chatty video chill and just catch up because it's been a long three months to be honest Last questions on my Instagram and I'm gonna start off with the number one question which is is it hard keeping up with social media so obviously this comes into like the context of why I took three months off and basically I find it like I found it really hard just to keep up with it all I then had like I had like mocks and then I had the actual exams which were like my last exams with GCSE so obviously I was like revising and then going to my exams and like revising going to my exams like repeat of that for about two weeks and then obviously i had my last day at school then i came off and i was like i just honestly my life was just so busy because i obviously just wanted to go out with my friends the whole time because like, obviously my summer started early so like, there's just those just, like, more plans like, every day and it was like a job like it is it's your full-time job for me and obviously i'm only 16 which i've only just turned 16 and all my friends have only just started getting summer jobs so I thought like until like, everyone gets jobs I thought I'll just kind of enjoy the beginning of my summer with them and now I feel like it's the right time to come back onto YouTube because I have a few videos like planned and I want to I just want to start posting again because I did miss it and it honestly I every time I thought about I hadn't posted it kind of made me feel like it almost made me feel like sick like not sick but it just made me feel like I just don't I want to post um so obviously i'm gonna try my hardest like to post every time but obviously it's literally it's summer so it's so hard to like manage my time of filming and editing because obviously it takes a lot of time and then filming and editing and also trying to go out with my friends and also film for dad be girl so it is a lot to manage but now that i have summer hopefully i'll be able to manage my time like more efficiently but i still posted on like instagram and i tried to keep up like with that and stay active okay so this one says how did your gcse's go so obviously i didn't actually do gcse's i did like well i did do them but it was like we did loads of mock um, and then it's like teacher prediction kind of thing and they just take all the mocks kind of put them together and then you get like an average grade the thing is if i'm gonna be honest i didn't i didn't really revise that well like i revised for the subjects that i wanted to do well in but like for the things like science and RS, I just, I really didn't revise for them. Just because I'm really bad at them anyways and I kind of predicted that I'd failed them. Well not science, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hoping to pass science. But I also don't mind if I don't. But basically for RS, I literally failed all of my mocks. So I knew I wasn't going to revise because even if I did pass this last mock, I literally wouldn't have, it wouldn't have been enough to make me pass. Um, but also we went into school and we did like sign off the evidence and so I was able to see like some of my marks in some of the grades and like in science some of them weren't that good but it's also so hard to tell because with science because a lot of people do bad obviously the grade boundaries brought down so low so I honestly have no clue what I got for science but like for dance I literally got the exact same mark in my paper that I did in my December one and in my December one, I got like a five or a six. So I know I've passed on. But I'm pretty confident in most of them. Obviously, it's just some that I kind of know. But I feel like I know what my grade is, like the average in each of them. Do you have a boyfriend slash are you talking to anyone? And that is a solid no. Honestly, I'm not like really looking for a boyfriend. I'm just kind of... I'm also still 16 and like I'm not like... I'm not worried that I don't have a boyfriend. And I'm also not like desperate for one if you know what i mean like whatever happens happens um but like every time like because obviously i have like boyfriends like when sometimes they comment on my instagram like post sometimes then people think that i'm like talking to them or something but i'm not and if some people also ask if i did have a boyfriend would i tell you guys and to be honest in the beginning i wouldn't like i think i would keep it more of a secret because you know like 
something you're just meant to keep like in your own private life um but then obviously like, eventually i would it just depends like how serious it is but again i'm 16 so i don't think i would go straight into a serious relationship but it sounds so cringy talking about it would you ever want to move out yes i i kind of feel like i want to move out earlier than most people would because i love my own space and i feel like i'd love to have like my own apartment um probably start by like living with some friends and i feel like i'd want to move out like 18 get my own like apartment um but obviously most people move out like 20 or 19 so i don't know obviously i'm saying this now but like, when it comes to time i might feel like i'm not ready to move out but i feel like i would want to move out so never know how tall are you so that's actually like a funny kind of question because basically i posted this picture on my instagram story i now when i look back so basically my auntie took some pictures for me and she was just taking pictures and in the beginning I was like, oh, I look a bit short, can you take them from like a higher angle? No, I mean a lower angle, so it makes me look taller. And she was like, yeah. And so then when I then posted the pictures on my Instagram story, I selected, I just selected it, looked at it. I was like, yeah, it's fine, post. Um, and then now when I look back at it, I look tiny. Like not even just like I look short, like I actually look like I have no leg. I literally look tiny and everyone was like coming like oh my god i didn't realize how small you was oh my gosh you look so tiny and stuff and i'm like oh my god i actually do like look like i have no legs i look absolutely tiny now people are, like asking how tall i was so then i said how tall i was which is five four but also i feel like i'm five four five five i literally have no clue because i always thought i was five five but then i measured myself and it was five four so i guess saying like one foot under but um yeah, I always thought I was 5'5", five five, but I wouldn't say it's short. I wouldn't say it's tall. It's like average. I feel like it's just the average height. I feel like everyone's 5'5", five five, to be honest. Um, but everyone was saying I'm still short. So, in the start, was you embarrassed about doing YouTube? I always think about this because when I started YouTube, I think I was in like year 8 maybe. And at the time, I didn't find it embarrassing like at all. And I feel like if I started YouTube now, I'd definitely be more embarrassed. Just because I feel like I would. But obviously, you don't need to be. But I feel like I would be embarrassed more if i was older but that's just because like obviously when you're younger you don't really think of anything and you don't really care but i feel like as you get older the more you care about things so maybe i would be more embarrassed but i'm not sure but i'm glad i started like when i did because then it gave me so much more of an advantage because obviously, yeah most youtubers they start at like my age then so they have to build their platform but because like my platform's kind of already begun then it's only obviously hopefully going to progress so like when i'm older i feel like i'll have better opportunities if that makes sense um what do you think the baby's gender is going to be so if you i'm sure most of you um have seen that my mum's pregnant and i genuinely don't know what the gender will be i'm kind of more lenient towards a boy just because i feel like it's all the right time i feel like if chloe was going to be a boy like it just wouldn't be the right time but i feel like now it's the right time but then also my mum's had so many girls i'm like is there an opportunity is there a chance that it could be a boy but obviously i literally i really couldn't care less if it's a boy or a girl because obviously it's still a new sibling and another baby in the house like if it's a boy like brilliant if it's a girl that's still good like i literally don't mind at all um but i feel like maybe more of a boy because i see if you watch the video when we did the test and old wives tales it did come out like the boy won by like one point so i feel like it could be a boy but honestly i have no clue when is your prom so my prom is on the 25th of june which is literally less than a week um it's literally a week today i'm actually terrified because i've got my dress and everything i haven't got shoes and i haven't got a bag my prom dress i was going to try and keep it like a surprise and then obviously on like my prom like post a picture in it but basically if you follow my dad on instagram i had a huge so basically it was laying on my bed from where i just tried it on and it was on a hanger so i picked it up when i was hiding my room hung it up on my wardrobe and i just saw a fat spider run up it and down the dress and so it literally made me gag because i hate spiders so i rang my dad and he came up and he was going to catch it for me because he was filming it because see he films everything on instagram stories he was filming it so then people kind of saw the dress but also not clear enough honestly i absolutely love it because i didn't want to go too full out just because i felt like it wasn't the right vibe because this year it's like it's more at my school 
um because obviously you get corona you can't have it at a venue so it was more like chill and some people aren't even wearing prom dresses but so mine's just more of like a straight gown it's quite like plain but at the back is literally the best part of the dress so this is two questions i got asked which is because sometimes i put questions up people think i'm asking for video ideas instead of like a q a um so people said can you do a room tour and a birthday haul so both of them videos i'm going to be doing obviously my room tour has taken absolutely ages i moved in in november and my room's like not even done yet because basically there was these drawers i went for my makeup and then you couldn't really get them because when i like did like research into it I found out it was actually like a wardrobe and then you put glass drawers in um, and obviously I don't have enough room for a wardrobe, it would literally take up all the space in my room. Um, so then I've now ordered new drawers and they literally got built yesterday and so I'm going to put them in and like replace them with the drawers I have now. Just because the drawers I have now is the two little Alex drawers and the big one um, and it honestly it just comes out too much and they're quite like, bulky. So these ones are like much better and they go in a bit more so they won't be sticking out as much. Um, which So I'm going to put all up the makeup and stuff in probably like today or tomorrow and organise it. And then my room will basically need to be done. I think I'm getting new carpet and because I got a radiator taken off the wall I need to paint it. So I need that to be done and then I'm going to get a TV for my room and then my room will be done. So hopefully not long. Um, but yeah, and then a birthday haul is coming out on Wednesday. No, Friday. The day of my prom is when it will be coming out. Do you want to have kids young? So obviously, if you might know, my mum and dad had me when they were 18, which is obviously very young. And I always, when I was younger, I was like, yeah, I want to have my kids, like, young. But now I'm like, honestly, because of, like, YouTube and stuff, I just kind of want to experience, like, go travelling and stuff. So I feel like I wouldn't be ready for kids to have them young. But I still want to have them young, but just not as young as I wanted to be. So I want to be have them like maybe 24, 25. I feel like that's a good kind of age to have kids. Maybe like 23. But yeah, obviously I just don't want it too young. Cause when I, at first I literally wanted kids when I was like 20, and now I'm like absolutely not. Um, I want to have kids later. Okay, so I wouldn't normally answer this question not because like. I don't want to just because I feel like some people wouldn't really care but um someone asked me do you have dys dyslexia and if so how do you deal with it because apparently they're really struggling so yeah I have dyslexia I was diagnosed when I was in like year seven I think I was um and honestly like I I'm not I don't really struggle with it like I just kind of saw it how it was like, I never really saw like an issue with it if you know what I mean like I don't really care if that makes sense like not I don't care but like I don't care enough for it to like make me upset or anything. I don't know how to say it, but honestly, like, don't let it have been an excuse to like hold you back if you know what I mean. Like, that sounds so cringy. I'm trying to say this in the less cringiest way possible. But um, when I was in year six, I literally had two teachers back drag uh, drag me, pull me aside, and just say um, they were like, "Your work's at like a year two level." When I was in year six, and Honestly, that was the worst thing they ever could have said because obviously I didn't know how I was dyslexic at the time and obviously it made me feel so embarrassed and they didn't say it in a very nice way. Like, they just honestly weren't nice about it at all. And yeah, they said my work was like a year two level. Like, who says that to a kid, do you know what I mean? And they never picked up that I might have dyslexia. And But like, my granddad has it, my auntie has it, both my other granddad has it, my uncle Mickey had it, um, my uncle Luke has it. Like, literally... So many people in my family have it and my school never picked it up even though they said my work was like really like at a young age. Um, so then obviously my mum kind of thought I might have it and so then she got me a private test in year 7 because the school like you have to have like it's like quite a long time you have to wait for the school. And yeah but um, so it obviously turned out I did have it but like comparing that to now I've like in English I get a good mark and I'm now taking it for sixth form it's literally like such a big like improvement obviously sometimes it's harder because like you, when you have to say you find it more harder to like learn stuff to remember like it's so much harder to learn and obviously I don't I didn't really get that much help in school to be honest like literally like they hardly helped me I do get extra time which obviously is like a big help but like the actual school they didn't do like much but i don't think i've really needed it i honestly think like whatever you learn and how good you are in a class or at a subject i honestly 
really would say like it literally depends on the teacher because obviously English I literally always hated it always got bad in it and then in year 11 I got a teacher which I absolutely love and she's a really nice teacher and so then literally improved my grade and I now enjoy English so now I'm taking it for sixth form so honestly it literally depends on the teacher um I, I've honestly really just sidetracked from that question but basically just ask for teachers for help honestly just ask honestly that I didn't really answer that question but I will next question um what job would you have if you did do YouTube um I honestly I literally have no clue I always when I was before I did YouTube wanted to be like a air hostess because then you could like travel and stuff but I honestly literally wouldn't even know probably an air hostess just because obviously you get to travel and stuff um and it looks like a good job but maybe even like going into like social media as in like PR and stuff like you know like if you work for a company and you get them like influencers and you do that the brand it was like maybe something like that I feel like but I probably wouldn't have really like understood the job as well maybe I'm just saying that because I do YouTube now but I probably would have said air hostess or I did want to be a PT for a bit but I, I don't know why I literally saw like one thing on you on like you know like, when you watch little clips on YouTube when I was younger and I saw someone be a PT and I was like, oh my god, I want to be do that. But honestly, I literally don't even really like fitness that much. So I don't think I'll do that. Um, and then someone asked about my piercings. I get questions a lot. So basically, I have my cartilage. And then this is like my conch, which is a bit red at the moment. Because you know when you get like a first piercing, it has like them little bubble things. Well, it has one of them at the moment, but hopefully it'll pop soon. Um, and then I have third seconds first and look how cute this little chain is it goes across and then I have my rook and then on this side I just have two um so I used to have this one the tragus that's it um and I used to have like this here which is like the forward helix that split and that blocks so then I have this one which my auntie for my birthday actually got me like a hoop that goes around it which is so nice but I've decided I want to get the conch on this side and have a hoot there. And then I want to get like two up here and then my tragus on one of these sides. But I'm not sure yet. So there's still a lot more pieces I want. Oh, and I have my belly button. Um, I'd say my most painful one was my belly button, to be honest. Which you'd think would be like one of the least painful because it's just skin. But it actually did hurt a lot. But I also didn't eat that day. So that does contribute because you see my blood levels were low. And the higher it is, the less pain you feel. Um... And then this, these two, kind of the same pain, but literally didn't really hurt. I think I have quite high pain tolerance because I don't really find piercings that painful. Um, but obviously these two hurt the most. Cartilage, I honestly don't really remember. I remember it was like a burning kind of feeling. And obviously lobes don't hurt at all. So I'd say my most painful one was my belly button. But if we're counting my Ford Helix, that was definitely my most painful one. So that's all the questions. Let me know down below what videos you want me to film and you videos you want to see. Thanks for watching. Bye.